We are at a renaissance right now of investigating how to store electricity for industrial heat. This might look like just another clean energy story, but behind the bricks, wires, and silence lies something strange. An energy system that doesn't die, doesn't degrade, and doesn't even need rare materials to work. Imagine a battery without chemicals, one that can run for a century, absorbing and releasing power without losing its soul. It doesn't buzz, it burns, quietly storing energy as pure heat. And the startup behind it? Backed by climate billionaires and engineers who've stopped trying to invent the future and instead built it from forgotten parts of the past. Something is heating up. And it's not what you think. The battery problem. For years, lithium-ion batteries have been the gold standard in energy storage. From your phone to massive grid-scale installations, they've quietly powered the shift toward renewables. But there's a catch. Over time, as these batteries cycle through charge and discharge, they begin to decay. Their efficiency drops, their lifespan shortens, and replacing them isn't cheap, either in money or materials. Cobalt, nickel, lithium, these aren't limitless. Some are mined under brutal conditions. Others are geopolitical flashpoints. Yet the need to store energy keeps growing. Solar panels generate electricity only when the sun shines. Wind turbines slow down when the air stands still. We don't control when nature gives us power. We just have to capture it when it does. That's where batteries come in. But storing energy this way at a national or industrial scale becomes painfully expensive and environmentally not so clean. Worse still, batteries are often treated as plug and play fixes, but they're not infinite. They wear down, they pollute when disposed of, and their materials come at a cost, both human and ecological. So we face a paradox. The green revolution depends on storage, but our best tools for storage may be unsustainable. Enter Rondo. Amid the energy storage crisis, a quiet but powerful startup is making noise in all the right places. Rondo Energy, backed by Bill Gates's breakthrough energy ventures and other major climate investors, has raised $22 million for something unexpectedly simple. A battery made of bricks. Not lithium, not metals, just ordinary-looking, heat-resistant bricks. But what these bricks can do is anything but ordinary. Rondo's system stores energy as heat with 98% efficiency and can cycle for over 100 years without degrading. It offers the same energy density as lithium-ion batteries, yet at only 20% of the cost. That changes everything, especially in hard-to-electrify sectors like manufacturing and refining. What sets it apart, though, is what it doesn't use. No cobalt, no lithium, no rare earths. Every material involved is available on almost every continent. It's local, sustainable, and built from industrial parts we already understand and know how to produce at scale. This means Rondo's technology isn't just efficient, it's resilient. No fragile supply chains, no mining bottlenecks, no race for scarce elements, just durable systems made from earth and engineered with intention. Instead of inventing something flashy, Rondo rebuilt energy storage from the ground up, quietly redefining what a battery could be. Why heat? Why now? We don't usually think about heat when we talk about clean energy, but we should. Industrial heat, used in making steel, cement, glass, fertilizers, accounts for a massive share of global emissions. In fact, around 36% of all greenhouse gas emissions come from industry. And of that, nearly three quarters come from generating heat. That's where Rondo's idea becomes revolutionary. Instead of using electricity to power machines, then converting that electricity back into heat, they cut out the middle steps. 
they store electricity as heat directly, high temperature heat that industries actually need. No complex conversion, no energy loss chasing perfection. Traditional batteries don't handle this well. They're great at storing electricity, but terrible at generating the kind of searing heat needed for industrial processes, often near or above 1,000 degrees Celsius. That's why factories still burn fossil fuels, because until now, clean heat simply wasn't competitive. But Rondo's heat battery changes that math. By combining cheap renewable energy with cheap heat storage, they've created a system that can outcompete natural gas in many global markets. Suddenly, a sector once labeled hard to decarbonize doesn't seem so impossible. Heat, it turns out, may be the missing piece of the climate puzzle. So the echo chamber innovation. At the heart of Rondo's system is something deceptively simple, an echo chamber made of heat. It's here that the real magic happens. Instead of using air or water to move heat around, like most thermal storage systems, Rondo uses radiation. Inside this chamber, special bricks are stacked tightly with electric heaters embedded among them. When powered, these heaters radiate heat outward, and the bricks absorb and bounce that heat back and forth, just like sound echoing in a canyon. This constant radiation allows all the bricks to heat evenly, without hot spots or slow conduction. It's an elegant fix to a frustrating problem. Most thermal batteries rely on fluids, which need turbines and fans to circulate. That creates mechanical losses and limits temperature. Worse, the heat moves unevenly, creating stress and inefficiency. But radiation doesn't need moving parts. It just needs space and design. The breakthrough here isn't about building something new. It's about applying fundamental physics in a smarter way. By designing a chamber where heat bounces and balances naturally, Rondo solved multiple engineering problems at once. The result? A system that charges faster, operates cleaner, and reaches temperatures most batteries can only dream of. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Speed, density, and double stack design. One of the overlooked challenges in energy storage is speed. How fast can you store and release power? For grids dealing with sudden surges or drops, that speed matters. Rondo's system doesn't just store heat efficiently, it charges rapidly too. That's because radiative heating, especially at high temperatures, transfers energy much faster than conduction or convection. The hotter the bricks get, the more heat they radiate, exponentially. There's also the question of density. Rondo's heat battery can reach energy densities similar to lithium-ion batteries, around 260 watt-hours per kilogram. But to do that, it has to operate below the 1,000 degree Celsius range used in industry. That's because the total energy stored depends on how much the temperature drops when discharging. To balance this, Rondo uses a clever double-stack approach. One set of bricks stores heat at lower temperatures, acting as a preheater. The second stack pushes the air up to the final industrial levels. This layering allows them to extract the most energy possible while still delivering usable high-temperature steam. It's not about copying lithium-ion. It's about rethinking what energy storage needs to be for industry, for speed, and for a future that demands both precision and scale. Keeping the heat in. Storing heat at over 1,000 degrees Celsius sounds promising until you think about how easily heat escapes. At that temperature, even the best insulation can fail fast. So, how does Rondo keep the heat locked in for hours, even overnight? The answer is dynamic insulation. Instead of just wrapping the chamber in thick materials, Rondo built a smarter barrier. Their system uses a double wall design with an air gap in between, similar to how double glazed windows work. 
But instead of argon gas, this gap contains flowing air. Here's the trick. The air in the gap isn't passive. It moves in a controlled loop around the entire battery before being directed over the hot bricks. This means the outer layer of insulation never has to face the full heat directly. Instead of withstanding 1500 degrees Celsius, it only deals with around 150 degrees Celsius. That's a game changer. It reduces material stress, lowers costs, and makes the system far more durable. The heat stays where it's needed, inside, without baking the structure from the inside out. Rondo didn't just solve how to store energy. They figured out how to keep it, patiently waiting, until the grid or the factory says, now we need you. Beyond industry, while Rondo's heat battery was designed with factories in mind, its potential stretches far beyond smokestacks and steel mills. One of the most promising frontiers is district heating, networks that deliver hot water or steam to entire neighborhoods. Cities across Europe already use this model. But what if we could power it cleanly, affordably, and without constant fuel? That's where Rondo steps in. Their system stores heat at ultra-high temperatures and then blends it down to 120 degrees Celsius or less, ideal for homes and buildings. And remarkably, even after that blending, it's still cheaper than storing heat in conventional water tanks. This opens doors in both rich and developing nations. Remote towns with limited grid access could use renewables and Rondo batteries to run local heating networks. Urban centers could cut their dependence on gas overnight. The idea of clean, scalable thermal energy suddenly becomes a public service, not just an industrial fix. And because the materials are basic, no rare elements, no complex parts, these batteries can be built almost anywhere. It's not just energy independence, it's energy equality. Rondo may have started in factories, but the heat they're holding could warm entire cities and change lives quietly, brick by brick. This isn't the future of energy, it's a forgotten principle reborn. While the world races toward smarter gadgets and rare materials, Rondo looked backward and saw something timeless, heat, stored not in silicon or silver, but in stone, silent, steady, scalable. In a time where batteries burn out, degrade, and demand more mining, a system built from bricks dares to last a century. Not because it's high tech, but because it's right tech. Sometimes revolution doesn't arrive with sparks. It radiates slowly, quietly, waiting to be noticed. And maybe, just maybe, the cleanest energy solution was always glowing just beneath the surface.